This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We're on a job today in Jamestown. So take a look at this beautiful, beautiful yard. And what's happening here is water is just rushing from across up the hill. You can see where it's kind of worn away right there. And it's landing right here and then it just hangs. So it hasn't rained for a couple weeks here. And you can see we still have a lot of moisture in the ground and so what we're going to do here there you can see some moss so a couple things we got these two gutters which are getting a ton of, of roof area and just dumping it right here so we're going to catch this gutter take it across we're going to go across the front of the deck here and look what we've got right here a nice drainage basin and then while we're here, we're going to catch this gutter as well and get it right in there. And take a look at Ronald out there, and I've got the big excavator here. So that'll be the second part of this job. So they have this culvert here that is supposed to catch water from up on the hill. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to dig a swale across here and probably dig it and pull it, push it back over here to... Uh, a little bit of a berm to try to get that water to go into the culvert the way it's supposed to and the stump grinders were supposed to be here so I, I quoted this job like three or four months ago and they were supposed to have these stumps out of here and that hasn't happened so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these out with my big excavator while I'm here so I got that as an add-on for this job so I'll be able to come straight up the driveway here. We got we, we, we pulled the box truck in here, but we'll get that out of the way. And I'll get this big excavator up here and get to work. Did anybody else think of Andrew Camaretta while I was removing those stumps on the excavator? I sure did. The problem that I had for this day was it was just Ronald and I, and I didn't know I was gonna be removing those stumps. So luckily for me, Ronald just took it upon himself to do the whole drainage system by himself. He, went, he is a great, great addition to my company and has a great attitude all the time. So he just went ahead and got all that done while I was messing around with those stumps during the day. Because we had this drainage basin right here in the backyard, we were able to take our gutters and pipe them directly into it. And so if we didn't have this here, we would have taken them to the street because we did have fall down to the street. But we basically go through the brick here. We've got a variety of tools. We've got hammers and chisels, but we also have some uh, grinders with masonry wheels and cutoff saws, things like that, whatever we need to get through there. The stump grinder guy was supposed to be here way before we were here, but he kept saying that it was too wet and he was worried about tearing things up. So I tore things up pretty good, but watch this.
this last stump was right where the swale is, so I didn't really want to dig it out of there and have a giant hole right where the swale was. But it turns out my chainsaw blade was pretty much toast and we ran out of gas, so I had to come back and get this stump later. The neighbor just stopped over and asked me if I'd pull a couple of holly bushes out for her and how much I'd charge. And it turns out she was one of the very first quotes I did about two years ago. So I remembered her. Here we go. We are finished with this job, so let's take a quick look here. I got this all dug out, so it's now going to be entering into this culvert here. The customer said there's a lot of water that comes down here and possibly out of that corrugated pipe there. So I dug this as well and, and just kind of pulled it back and made a berm and a swale at the same time. Now the problem we have here is this is just super, super wet. And so that big machine is just kind of sinking down and not really doing anything. And so look at what's happening here. We've got water that's pooling right here. And it looks like it's co coming out of the ground maybe right there. So we're going to give this a few days. I'm going to bring the mini bobcat back over here and just kind of fix all this back here because I was just sinking in it and fix all this too so look at that we just tore it all up so the customer said that she would keep an eye on it and when things dry out a little bit better I'll be back over here so as far as the drainage work goes Ronald was working by himself today while I was doing those stumps so he got that gutter caught and he got that gutter caught and we're coming right into this drainage basin here so we're just getting seeded and strawed and about to get cleaned up i am back out here on this job it's been probably a week or so and I wanted to let this dry out a little bit and then I brought a smaller machine here to try to do some finish grading out here so looks like it's dried out quite substantially we haven't had rain in probably a week and a half or so so I brought the mini bobcat here with the tooth bucket and the Harley rake so what I want to work on this morning is get all this this mess that I created here getting those stumps out it was already pretty wet back here, and when I was pulling against those stumps, it just pulled me right into the ground with that big excavator. So that's what I'm here fixing today. I wasn't able to get this stump last time because my chainsaw ran out of gas and so I didn't want to dig this out because it was right here and I didn't want this to be a bunch of a big hole with a bunch of soft soil here so I brought my chainsaw back to see if we can get through this thing here I am back here for a second attempt on this stump I came back brought the mini bobcat back I had spent a bunch of time sharpening my chain and thought I had it sharpened, but as you can see here, this chain is just complete garbage. So I ended up ordering a new chain and did not get the stump on this second attempt. I am back out here to check on this system. It's been raining for probably about four or five hours today. 
so let's see how things are looking so this gutter is still draining out but that kind of drains away they weren't too worried about that We caught that gutter and there's a little bit of standing water here but not anything like it was look at this there's no standing water back here looks like the gutters are overflowing a little bit So that's working well. That's all water that was landing in the backyard here with nowhere to go. And there's a the swale that I cut. So the idea here was to keep the water from sheeting off into the backyard to catch it here and run it along here. So that looks like it's working pretty well. Oh, same thing with this swale here. They weren't sure if anything came out of that corrugated pipe. <clears throat> and it doesn't look like anything is coming out of it. But we still have a hill here that the water runs down. So I'm sure during a heavy rain this would flow a lot more. But it looks like everything is working the way it's supposed to. So that's good news. And I still have to get the stump out of here. I'm waiting for a new chainsaw chain. After two attempts on this stump on my own, I brought in some help. So this is my friend Sean. He has a couple of chainsaws. He does slabbing. He cuts a lot of hardwood. And the whole ride over there, he was talking about my Echo chainsaw and how it wouldn't cut anything and how his steel was going to be better. But it turns out that this steel, just the blade on that was shot as well. And so he, we ended up getting the stump out with my Echo since it now had a new blade on it. All right, we got the stump out. Now we just need to go clean it up. All right, we got this stump out of here finally. Turns out my chainsaw needed a new chain. So customer was really, really happy. I guess this was the third, third time we came back for this stump. So he cashed out to me an extra 50 bucks. So that was nice of him, but boy, that thing was a pain. So I'd say this job is done. <laughs>